skins. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome back to the channel, though. If you guys are new here, I am Ryan Wilson. If you guys haven't noticed from the title on the YouTube video, we're going to do a reaction on Up Church's new song. It's called VIP. It literally just came out two days ago. It might have came out yesterday. I don't know, but I, I, it came up. I follow him on uh, YouTube, and it came up as a new song. And it's with Sarah Ross. And I've never actually heard of this girl, but I did look her up just a little bit to see who she was. And she she kind of seems like an outlaw chick, kind of on the rise. I think she had one song called Shotgun that had like five million song or five million views. So maybe go check that out. But today we're gonna listen to No VIP by him. It just came out, so let's get into it. Let me pull some lyrics up for you guys. Now that we got some lyrics, let's do this. No context behind it, behind it all. I know nothing about it. But I do like Up Church. So it's like a party song? Oh, let me pause it for a second. I hope you guys like the lyrics. I've, I've been told before that in my videos that people like the lyrics pulled up on screen. I like them too because like sometimes like I can get so involved in just like the beat of the song that I start to get like sidetracked. I think I have ADHD or something. I don't know. I'm not never been diagnosed. I'll get so into like just the music. I'll free, I would like quit listening to the lyrics. So that's why I gotta have the lyrics out and read them as I listen. Side door when I walk in, slang in my voice when these women hear me talking. Southside shit going down as a top ten. Country ass crack a hometown, yeah that's middle ten. Silverado covered with car hard seats. Been a minute since uh, Up Church put something out. Especially like this. Yeah, sorry, you guys are gonna can't see it. I eat the beat, I eat the shrooms, and the booty if it's breakfast. DJ Clivy and his bitch, watch the playlist, get you break. Tell him we don't need no VIP. We be on second nav, all these on the street. Tell him we don't need no VIP. We hear the dog trip, fine, begging not to capri. I don't know that is. It does always go hard in the songs, though. I feel like he's he's like one of the few like real country slash rappers. I mean, I know he does his rap stuff like this, but he's he, there's not a lot of real ones left. They all sell out. And he's not scared to say whatever he thinks. That's I'm cool. Stone, like a rolling stone in my caddy going home. Resin dripping from the cone, seeping in my finger bone. Six one to the motherfucking five. Pulling up is something louder than an RV on fire. But we don't need no VIP. We be on second nav, hardies on the street. Tell them we don't need Is that in Nashville? Does he, he doesn't live. He used to live outside of Nashville, but didn't he move? Still in Nashville, man? He moved somewhere else. I know it's outside of Nashville, but yeah. This is Sarah Ross. Yeah, good voice. Yeah, he's got some pretty good lyrics to it. I, is this just like there? He doesn't. It's just like that picture you guys see is a uh, like the album deal or whatever the the song. It's, that's it. It looks like a, like a folding table with beer ta beer cans and stuff all around, and there's people like laying on the ground. That's it. That's all, that's the end of it, boys. What do you guys think? I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it was definitely something different, not something that he uh, like has been putting out. I feel like he's been like more on the countryside here lately, like putting out his country songs, which actually have been like they've been really good. But he hasn't put out like he hasn't put out a ton of new songs like within the past year. And I'm sure that was due to COVID, and he couldn't go out and he couldn't freaking collab with people. And I don't know. I don't. I don't really don't know. I I don't make music, so how I don't freaking know how that works. But 
I would rate it like a freaking five out of five. I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. It's definitely catchy. Definitely very catchy. Um, I don't know any context behind it, so I really, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I thought it was a good song. Definitely a good song. It'd be interesting to see if he does any more with this Sarah girl. I don't know what else to say about it. Hopefully he makes some more music. Up church, if you if you see this, man, make some more music, man. I want to see some more. I want to see some more real stuff. There's not a lot of people out there making real stuff anymore, so... That, that's pretty cool. I like it. That's all I got for now, you guys. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like the lyrics on the screen. It's not, like, I tried even just, like, Googling the no VIP lyrics. Couldn't even find it anywhere. I don't know if he'll make a music video for this or not. I know, like, people like MGK, they'll put out, like, the song early and then come back and, and make, like, a music video with the song. So maybe he'll do something like that. Not really sure. I follow him on uh, Twitter, but he just doesn't post a whole, whole lot on there. I've been seeing he's been doing, he's like, Call of Duty video games and stuff on youtube so that's like the only time i ever get to see him but let me know what you guys thought of the song let me know what you guys thought of the video if you guys want to see some more stuff like this and yeah for now that's all i got don't forget to give the video a like and a subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace bye